You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering dental implants. My first guest is an expert on the topic, Dr. Lacanti. Dr. Lacanti, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. It's nice being here. Now, uh, your center, Nashville Dental Implant Center. Tell me uh, a little bit about it. I mean, that's all you do? That's it. My practice is totally focused on dental implants. Um, it has been for the past 23 years. Um, and. Uh, this is all we do. Now, of all the different, uh, you know, dental specialties, things like that, why did you decide to focus on dental implants? You know, I, I became interested in dental implants when I was in dental school, actually. Okay. Um, this was back in the early 80s. And I had seen a patients in dental school who were suffering, and really at that particular time, all we had to offer them was either, you know, the conventional denture or a bridge or a partial. So when I began uh, researching dental implants um, when I was in dental school, um, I had realized that, that this was a way that we could possibly avoid putting patients permanently into, into dentures and, 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 and really um, help them avoid the life of, of uh, uh, misery that, that most denture the denture wears actually, do. Yeah, absolutely. How many and, people? And, and not just dentures, Randy. I mean, you know, uh, partials and, and, and bridges. You know, because, because bridges, you know, we had to cut down two beautiful, natural, healthy teeth to go on ahead and either replace one tooth or a series of teeth, you know, and so, um, and, and along with bridge work, you know, cutting down healthy teeth also comes um, some, some morbidity associated with that as well, such, okay. as, such as root canals or, or, or uh, and, and sometimes even with root canal treated teeth, you end up losing those particular teeth as well, so. But backing, backing up to the top of the show, I said you're an expert on the topic uh, of dental implants. You really are. I mean, you teach, is this right, worldwide? Yes, uh, I do. Dentists learn about dental implant, I guess, placement from you. Yes, I, I teach the dental surgical aspect of it as well as the restorative aspect of, as well. From, from dentists around the country as, as well as around the world. Um, I'm, I'm also involved in, in dental implant research. I've been involved in bioprotein research. Um, You've helped design dental implants, absolutely. is that right? I, I have a dental implant design, as a matter of fact. Okay, yes. all right. Yeah, and, and so I've, I've been involved in, in, in dental implant research for, for a very, very long time. Is that time. rare, by the way? You know, our, our show airs nationwide, and mm -hmm. I interview a lot of different topics. In your area, I've interviewed a dentist that does cosmetic, but that somebody just focuses their practice on dental implants? Well, you there, don't hear there, about that. Yeah, there are very few practices that are actually just focused on dental implants. Um, they are practicing other... Uh, other aspects of dentistry as well, either periodontology or, or okay. maxillofacial surgery or, or general dentistry. Is there a big learning curve, by the way? There, there can be. Because it seems pretty straightforward. You're, you're putting the... Well... You say that with a smile. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot to it, obviously. Well, there, there, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye. Okay. okay. Um, but, it, I mean, there are, are several cases that are, are relatively straightforward, but the ones that I tend to uh, uh, treat Attract. Are, 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 just, are just a little more complex. So I understand. Okay, so you you've done about sixteen thousand dental implants. A little over. 16, I mean, are you that much better implants. now today than? Yeah, I think I think every practitioner gets better as they go on, you know, and that, and that's called experience. Yeah. You know, and and that's what people really really need to look for. They need to look for for individuals who have experience in in dental implantology. Okay, what are the different categories uh, of dental implant patients you see? Well, that's a very broad question, Randy. And and uh, but but I see anyone that has one missing tooth all the way to someone who has a full mouth of missing teeth. And of course, there's everything in between. Like we we'll say, for instance, the, uh, the individual who have three or four missing teeth, um, where they're wearing a partial denture, or they have a bridge that just had to be removed, um, to, to individuals who need to have a denture stabilized, okay. um, to individuals who've been wearing dentures that don't want to wear dentures anymore, and so we're able to get them into fixed teeth, teeth that don't come out anymore. Now tell me about uh, age ranges. What are the age ranges of patients you see? Anywhere from 12 years old all the way up to uh, 92. 92 years. Now why would a 92 year old, old uh, want to, I mean you've had a patient 92 years old I, that you... The, the, the oldest patient I treated was 92 years old. A sweet, sweet little old woman. <laughs> and and uh, she came in with her husband who was 82 and he kind of made a joke, well she kind of made a joke that she, she, you know, she robbed the cradle. Okay. Um, <laughs> and and uh, um, what was really, really interesting about that is is that she had been wearing a dentures for a long, long time, over 50 years, and she couldn't wear the dentures anymore. And so they, uh, they came in, I had talked to them about, about what could be done, I spoke to her physician, and he said, you know what, he said, she, she's, she's a healthy 92, and if, uh, if they wanna do it, you know, go on ahead and do it. 
And so, um, and she looked to her husband and said, well, you know, after, after I quoted them what, you know, after I talked to them what was going to be entailed. Okay. And, and uh, um, she, she looked at him and said, you know, I, I may not live that much longer. Do I really want to do this? He stopped and looked at her. He said, he said, sweetheart, he said, he said, you may not live a year. You may live a year. You may live two years. You may live three years. You may live ten years. He said, but don't you want to live the rest of those years and try to eat what it is that you want to eat? Interesting. And, 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 and be as comfortable as you possibly can? And so we went ahead and we did the treatment. And so what, I mean, what happened? I mean, you give her something fixed in her mouth? Well, what we did was we stabilized her denture for her. We placed, we placed three implants and, st and stabilized her. Like her something own. that snaps in, snaps, snaps in out. out? Yeah, snaps in her. Is that a huge difference, out. by the way, for a denture wear? Oh, absolutely. That, uh, that's a difference between night and day. Like eating meat? You could eat meat with oh, that? Oh, absolutely. Yes, you can. Yeah, it, it helps to stabilize the denture to that point to where it'll make it comfortable enough for the patient. To but eat. isn't it true, though, that at that age, I mean, the dental implants are likely to fall out? No, not necessarily at all. No. no. Okay. No, not, misconception not then? Absolutely. Big My mother's 73 years old. I, you know, I, I told her, you know, he's coming out here. We, we had our conversation on the phone about dental implants. She, and she's 73, healthy. She says, My medical doctor said I'm too old for dental implants. They'll fall out. I don't well, have that, enough bone. What's your response? That's, that's not necessarily true. Um, because although as we get older, our, our, our bone healing responses get uh, slow down, but the, but the reality is, is that we still have the ability to heal, even at that age. And I've had older individuals, 70s, 80s, Because that's young 90s, today, 70s, absolutely, 80s, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, that have had beautiful, beautiful bone development. You know, so you really can't say just because you're 70 years but old. But do they self-diagnose like that, where they oh, say absolutely. I'm too old? Pe people self-diagnose all the time. They think they can't do it. Absolutely. You know, what's interesting is you say that some of your patients will go to you and they say, you know, and you and you take care of them, you give them something fixed, denture worse, and they were told elsewhere, even by another dentist, that it couldn't be done. Oh, absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. Elaborate on that. There's varying opinions in in all treatments, basically. And, and so, but, but there have been patients who have come to my office where the dentist said, well, you can't have implants, or you can't, you know, you can't have this, or you can't have that. And, and, and really, um, we've been able to get, uh, we've been able to get individuals into, into fixed teeth or into, into implant-supported dentures and make their lives so much more comfortable, so much more better. You know? Now, back, backing up to the person that, uh, uh, you know, is just missing three or four teeth. Mm -hmm. Help me understand why they'd want to get dental implants over just what, you know, bridge partial something in their mouth. I mean, what's the big benefit? Help me well, understand the benefit here. Usually individuals who have three or four missing teeth, okay, are, are wearing a partial denture, something that comes in and out of their mouth, okay? And the problem with a partial denture is that um, what happens is, is that that particular prosthesis type yeah. braces itself against one or more adjacent teeth. And so eventually what ends up happening is that that patient can end up losing those particular teeth because of the wear and tear of the partial on those teeth. They get decayed. Um, once they get decayed, then, then of course... Is it like patchwork? I mean, could you describe it like that? Um, well, at, at, at one particular time... I mean, it's time, temporary no matter what, right? At, at one particular time, that was one, that was dentistry's answer to a, a space or a quadrant, as we call it, of missing teeth. Um, but now, with, with dental implants, people can have fixed bridge work back in that area or individual so get, teeth once again. So your teeth back. You get your teeth back. Do you think it prevents future loss? Absolutely, because uh, dental implants will prevent the need to have to attach into adjacent teeth. Okay, And so thereby, you can leave that tooth independent and, and, and not have to ask that tooth to take on any more force or stress. Do they feel like regular teeth? I mean, did the patients say, oh, I, I forget that I have dental implants? Patients tell me that all the time. It seems very painful, though. It's not a painful procedure. I mean, do they complain about pain? Not, not usually, no. Okay. The, it, it's a very, very gentle procedure when done properly. And, and uh, um, Like, what do you give them? I mean, you, uh, ideal situation, somebody, denture gets something fixed. What do they take? Usually, usually they take some ibuprofen. That is usually the number one uh, a pain medication that they take. And sometimes I'll, I'll give them something a little bit stronger just in case they need it. But the amazing thing is, is that I'd say 95% of my patients, nine out of 10 of my patients say, I didn't even have that prescription filled because I didn't need to have it filled. Is that right? Because it seems very, now you do uh, sedation. I mean, is that popular? Some people want to be completely out. Some people just right. want to. Right, I, I do IV sedation as well. Um, but most of the cases are, are, are just done under local anesthetic. 
you know, and, and uh, they're, they're amazed that it could be done under local anesthetic. As a matter of fact, most people don't even know the procedure is done and... They forget. It's over. Yeah, because it's, a, it's, 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 not, it's not anything that, that, that people need to fear. And I tell these, I mean, I tell my patients that all the time, you know, that, that uh, um, you know, I mean, it's easy for me to say because I do it all the time, yeah, you know, and, yeah. and, but, but uh, um, they're totally amazed at when they go through the procedures, like, doc, it was nothing. That's it? It's really? Like, that's you hear it. that? I, all the time.